friend, hey, you're deserving of love. And he cried so hard he got a nosebleed on my new dress. I'm not mad about the dress. I'm not mad about that at all. I'm mad about the fact that in his 18 years of life, 18 years of life, no one, not a single person has told this man that he's deserving of love. I think the biggest lie is be independent, be self-sufficient. You don't need anyone. You'll be fine. You got this. That's not how we're designed. You take a brand new baby. If they aren't codependent on anybody, that baby will literally die. Human beings are designed biochemically for connection. They're designed to be codependent. They're designed to love each other. They're designed to be in tribes. Never in history have people not lived in tribes. It takes five, six people to raise a child because that's how much emotional connection they are required to have. Now, we now live in a hyper-independent society that is totally individualistic and teaching everybody, you'll be fine, you got this, self-improvement, self-esteem, self, 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 and nothing to do with a group affiliation. So what happens is when you don't feel great, you feel like you've lost that life. Whereas when we had group settings, it's like, okay, I don't feel great, but my group is doing really well. My, my, my family is doing really well. My tribe is doing really well. I'm good. But now we don't have that resilience because we're totally encouraged to be solo. Why men's mental health is in crisis? Yes, because soon as um, a man opens up to a woman and tells them like their deepest, darkest secrets, women tend to use that against men. And It's totally right. I don't know why. I'm a woman and I don't know why.